Hello and welcome to episode three of uh, my quick tools for editing the Carib Acer Conference website. Uh, today we're going to be talking about some advanced uh, edits and some stuff that um, is needed for the site. Um, so the first one is changing speaker order on the uh, schedule page. Um, it turns out to be kind of uh, an annoying process, but I will show you um, what you will need to do in order to get the website set up for the following year. Uh, and then picture management and sizes. I'll show you some quick tips on how to make sure that all of your pictures look perfect. Uh, okay, so uh, back on the website here, uh, let's say, for example, I have this fake session here, uh, test session one, two, three, and it's done by Jesse Jones and John Smith. Now, however, though, John Smith is the primary person that's doing this session, and Jesse Jones is always a backup, so how do we get to move John Smith onto the front of the page? So, this setup is done uh, directly by whichever speaker was inputted into the system first. So John Smith was put into the system first, followed by Jesse Jones. Because of that, Jesse is now the most recent uh, speaker, and so he, it, he or she will be put in the front. So now we want to be able to change that. So the painful process of doing this is we need to take John Smith and we need to erase him as a speaker and put him back in. So uh, let's go to speakers and let's find John Smith. So what I like to do with this is uh, it's difficult to remember all the information, especially if there's a description in there, if we had a website, if we had any of this other information. So what I would do is I would take their name, copy it into the description, take their title, also copy it into the description, and then take all of this together, copy it, and then, uh, right, we can't do that. Uh, we would go back to speakers now, we would leave, that's fine. And then you want to trash John Smith. Then we create a new speaker, copy it in here, and then take all of your little pieces, John Smith, put it back into the title, take your description, put it back in the description, uh, and then hit publish. Now obviously if this is a real speaker we make sure that it was assigned to a category and had an image featured, uh, but we will just not worry about that for now. So we hit publish, and then the last thing you need to do is go into sessions. Find your test session, and then you need to re-add John Smith to the speaker list. Hit update, now we go back over here, we refresh the page, and now John Smith is in front. Uh, so just make sure if you're dealing with a session that has multiple, like for example this one is one, two, three, four, five, make sure that you know the list ahead of time of exactly the order they need, and then start to delete and re-add them from whoever should be last to whoever should be first. Uh, okay, one more thing as far as these speakers is that when you are deleting speakers, you need to watch out to make sure that they are in alphabetical order on the website. So, sorry, so when we go to speakers, you can go down to speakers and then go to reorder. This now has everything in list that we want to make sure that these all show up in alphabetical order on the website. So now that I notice there's a couple of these uh, real ones that are not in order, so I'm going to quickly do this. So D goes with D. Perfect. And you know what? I'm going to do all the other ones later. Hit update at the bottom, and that is now updated. All right. Uh, second thing, uh, changes for next year. So uh, as you notice on this site, it is directly connected to the year three scheduled days. Now, next year, it may not be um, April 10th to 12th, so we want to be able to change these. So, what you can do 
is in sessions. When you highlight sessions, it brings this up. You want to go to schedule days. Now here we have the three scheduled days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to delete these at the end of this conference, and then you're going to want to add your new ones. So you're going to add Monday, April 6th, let's say it starts next week. Uh, do not worry about any of this, and then you just hit update schedule day. Uh, when this is on here, this page will automatically update to contain all of the days, so you do not want to keep any days in here that are not on the conference. Then you can begin to build your new sessions, uh, so make sure that you do this before you start to add new sessions. Uh, as well, in the previous episode, I showed you how to redo the clock, uh, how to redo the countdown. There. Uh, and then, yeah. So, the other thing you're going to want to do is you are going to want to mass delete all of the other data that's in here. So, not all of these speakers will be speaking the following year. So, what you can do is hit this top which will highlight everything on this page you want a bulk action and you want to move to trash now do not worry because none of these are going to go away they're just going to not appear on the site when it comes to next year and you are re-establishing all of your speakers and you want to bring them back you can go to the trash page find the speakers you are looking for and you can restore them so you hit restore and they will come back on with all of the same settings that they had before. You will want to do this for the sessions as well. You're going to want to highlight all of them, bulk action, and move to trash. And then add your new sessions. Other than that, uh, besides what I showed you in the other things, you may want to change colors or change uh, different things based upon you want to change um, your years and where it's going to be held. Uh, you're going to want to change these photos because these ones are specific to Winnipeg. Uh, change your Twitter handle, as we said before. You may want to erase some of the news that was specific to the page. So you'll want to go to posts. You want to pick all of the ones. Uh, so this one won't apply anymore, and you'll want to move those to trash as well. Uh, as well, probably the logistics pages and the Explore Winnipeg pages will have to be completely redone with new information, but you can keep the same layout and just change out the photos and change out the links uh, as that I've shown you previously. I think that is everything for what you'll have to set up for next year. Okay, and finally we'll go to picture management and sizes. So, one of the things to make all of the speakers here look so uh, perfect and arranged is that I edited all of them to be circles, and I also edited them all to be the same pixel size. So every single picture is 500 pixels by 500 pixels, and I'll show you how I did that right now. So let's go back to speakers. Let's go John Smith and let's say we want to put a photo on John Smith. So first we need to find a photo. Uh, so I'm going to grab a quick photo of myself here that we had to do for a different project. Now I use a free program called uh, GIMP but this is something you can do in Microsoft Paint, uh, Adobe Illustrator, um, you can do this directly on the website as well. I just find it a little bit clunky, uh, but you can do all sorts of stuff. So now that I have it opened here, I want to find the rest of my windows here. The first thing I want to do is make sure that the picture I'm taking is 500 pixels by 500 pixels. First thing I'll do is I'm going to scale this to 500, which scales both the height and the width down. Perfect. Then I want to change the canvas size to 500 by 500. That turns it into a box. 
resize that. Now I'm going to make sure that I have an alpha channel. What the alpha channel is, is it allows the background to come through on photos. So for example, uh, here we see that it's taking the white background uh, as opposed to it just actually being a white box. So it's kind of hard to see there. But. Uh, okay, so then I'm going to grab the circular tool and I'm going to cut a circle out right up to the top. I'm going to copy this circle all the way down. And I'm going to cut that out. So I hit Control X and I cut it and I paste it back in. Now I've got two different layers here, so I want to add that to a layer, and I want to delete the old layer. Boom. Now when I save this, I want to make sure to save it as PNG instead of a JPEG. Uh, PNGs is what allows you to have the see-through background. Uh, JPEGs do not allow that. So we save that. Support, perfect. Now it is right there. There it is. Now I go back to the website and I want to add a featured image. Upload the file. Take that. Slap it in. And voila. There is my featured image for John Smith. So make sure on other areas of the website, so for example in the first video I showed you, uh, these need to be a very specific size or they may get uh, off shaped from the other ones. Um, so make sure that you do the same thing where you cut it down to the exact size that you need before putting it on the website. Uh, that is it. So thank you for uh, listening and following through on all these instructions. Bye-bye.